let me introduce myself. My name's Trevor Bayliss. I hope, anyway, you might know that I actually invented the wind-up or clockwork radio, whatever you like to call it, together with the torch and the mobile phone charger and so on and so forth. And all these things actually started in this little gaff of mine here. And during this little interview, you'll get a chance to see all my toys, big boy toys, and the graveyard of a thousand domestic appliances. <laughs> do you know, if you have that great idea, you say to yourself, now what do I do next? Hmm? Invariably, you go down the pub and you tell everybody about it. But what you don't realise is that now you have disclosed it. Hmm? What does that mean? Look, once you've put this great idea in the public domain, now you cannot protect it. Nobody pays you for a great idea, but they might pay you for that little piece of paper which says you own that idea. It could be the patent, it could be design registration, it could be copyright, or it could be trademark. Yeah, but how do I find out, find out about those things? Well, there are two books coming out now, dummy books, that really do focus on this particular requirement. You know, how do you bring a product to market? Who can you trust? How do you go about it logically? How do you reduce the costs? All these answers to these questions are contained within these dummy books. I mean, I know what it was like for me when I was trying to bring my wind-up radio to the market. It was nigh on impossible. I didn't know who to turn to. And in fact, I've got letters that are on the wall in my house here that tell me that nobody would want this invention. The extent to which the component parts could be manufactured in these aisles was limited. And yet I made it in my garden shed. Anyway, most important thing is learn all about it. Inventors' books for dummies. I'm one of those dummies. <laughs>